my process is and what materials I use. So I'm going to draw this eye for you and try and talk it through. These are the pastels I use and this is the paper I use. It's literally from a sketchbook. I rip pages out. So I typically start with a red, not the like red red, but the purple red. So I think it's pretty good. I'm going to sketch and then I add in blue and then paint. And orange, another blue, this is black. Don't be afraid to put your blacks in. Like it looks really good and bold. Um, I was filled in the eye with white. The white covers whatever you want, so don't be afraid to put in background colors. It just makes like your whites richer. Um, eyelashes, just do a lot of pressure and be like confident in your strokes because they're kind of harder to erase. This is the eye. Um, I wipe off all of the like build up particle texture things with makeup brush. It's an old one. It doesn't really get that dirty. And you peel off your tape and you're done. Thanks. Bye. This is what I did. Um, it's cute. Bye. All that I've wanted is to talk to someone who is dead But unfortunately I can't call him so I sing instead well, I'd never tell you to cover yourself in a lie still bite my lip harder so that I don't cry and it Black girls, not area code. These black girls need to be in the shows. Be on the runways, not just move boards. On top of that, I want to see when your team look at your crown. Natural light to the Jericho. One time soft and sheen. Where black girl magic is sometimes blue. My broke hair band or two. Raise my voice, she gonna say that I'm angry. Kiss my teeth, and now you say that I'm hood. Kid at 16, you say it's my. my juicy friends i posted this earlier and it flopped hardcore so i'm gonna try it again so last year i made a tutorial on how i blend and since i feel like i've gotten so much better i decided to do another one and kind of show the updates on how i blend it has been a full year since i made that tutorial and it blew up my youtube channel and i am so grateful and so happy oh my god this is right, this is right. Yeah. sorry so if you want to go ahead and check it out it's on my youtube 
So go break your fingers, get out your oil pastels, and uh, get creative. Bye bye. Cost that much cause it takes me fucking hours. fucking hours It costs that much cause I don't have superpowers, superpowers. You need to pay for my skills cause exposure doesn't pay the bills It costs that much cause it takes me fucking hours creating a study. To start this painting I laid down a flat base of colour. I'm using spray paint to do this but you can just use regular acrylic paint. And then I'm blocking in the form with the transparent mid-tone. I mixed up some cad red, some phthalo blue and some dioxazine purple to create this colour. Try your best to be very loose and general in this stage. Like you don't want anything to be perfect right now. Just very general, kind of right, might be wrong shapes. Then start refining the form with the darker colour. As you can see I'm adding a little bit more blue to that mix to create sort of a chromatic black look. Now that the features are a little bit more accurate this is where you can start to see the piece really come to life by adding opaques. Pay really close attention to your reference photo in this stage. You can go back and glaze again, but I would highly recommend that you go from dark to light, but you can always like mix and match. I always do. <laughs> like it's not as streamlined, but just try to have as much fun because that's what a study is all about. There are so many ways you can go about doing a study. You can experiment with processes, materials, subject matter. A good thing to think about while you're doing them is, am I enjoying this? Am I having a good time? Is this a potential direction? I got a little bit too in the zone while I was doing this one and forgot to record the last bit, but you can see that really bright, vibrant red, and that is just fluorescent red Posca pen. Creating regular studies is a fantastic way to be a little bit more expressive in your work, to pursue a little bit more authenticity because it's driven by fun, exploration and play, and what could be better than that in your practice? <laughs>